Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so I hope that you're all having a really great day thus far. And so in this video, we will be talking about what is currently happening across the North Atlantic Basin, with the main focus of this video being in the Caribbean. A trough in the region is inducing a lot of activity, and that has been affecting some areas, including Trinidad and Tobago. And so we'll be talking about the latest as well as what the models are expecting uh, from the system and so before I go into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to share support for the channel you can leave a like on this video all right, and so now let's go ahead and first begin with uh, going back to that satellite view of the basin and we're seeing here that there is quite a bit of activity so there are two tropical waves that are noted across the region one is approaching the lesser antilles and another is out in the uh, atlantic and so uh, there are two disturbances as well and so one is located just within that region and uh, there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity in association with it so let's look at the uh, outlook for this and we're seeing here that the chance is at 30 percent for us to possibly see some development of the system so the chance here has decreased and the reason for that is because uh, that window of opportunity for us to see getting itself together is closing so after tomorrow the upper level winds are going to increase and inhibit any further development or intensification of the system however as for that area in the Caribbean we're not seeing that excess yet and that is because that airflow pressure has not developed but it is expected to do so over the weekend and so it's going to be making its way to the west or to the west northwest and while doing so it is likely to encounter conducive conditions to allow for possible tropical cyclone development and so let's take a closer look at what is going on there let's look at this satellite imagery and here we are seeing so much activity right now across portions of the eastern caribbean so uh, that trough is inducing all that activity and uh this is affecting some areas in including uh, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, as well as Grenada and uh, Trinidad and Tobago and even Barbados as well. And so if you're in these regions, you can let me know what has been taking place in your area. And uh, as for the Leeward Islands, though, we're seeing here that uh, not as much activity is persistent across that region, but nonetheless, some passing clouds that might be producing some shower and thunderstorm activity as are going to be heading throughout today. But the bulk of that activity Activity right now is noted across the uh, the Windward Islands and so let's see what's going to be happening during the next couple of days but uh, the uh, periods of very heavy rainfall persistent heavy rainfall can result in flooding across some areas and I was even seeing where schools are closed today across sections of Trinidad I'm not sure if these if it's the entire country you guys can let me know in the comments uh if you're in trinidad what's been happening there because i mean this is quite concerning but uh extensive periods of very heavy rainfall can induce flooding across flood prone areas and so please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe and of course do not take any unnecessary risks and so as for other sections of the caribbean the central and western caribbean these regions are looking quite clear right now just some passing clouds across some areas but nothing very significant or very major at this point in time uh, of, of course all that activity is taking place across the eastern caribbean and so guys what are the models expecting for the system here and so we'll be looking at what uh, the operational models are showing so we're going to be starting out with the gfs of course and so this is a map showing the isobars if you're not aware of that the isobars they are the black lines and they represent areas of equal pressure and so when they're in a circular manner with the pressure being at least 10 13 millibars or lower then that is indicating a low pressure system which could be a tropical cyclone so that's what we're looking for here and so we're seeing that as for the gfs headed to saturday going to sunday the model shows some development of the system but sort of has it uh, kind of struggling as it makes its way just in the vicinity of Jamaica and continues towards the west southwest as been as seen here on this map here and so this is quite interesting because at one point GFS was forecast in a very major hurricane so we're seeing here now where the model is not really expecting a whole lot maybe a tropical storm at the maximum from the system but it is still pretty far out there can still be a lot of changes between now and early next week 
week. So uh, only time will tell. But that time when it's going to be making its way past Jamaica is around the midweek next week. And uh, as I said, nothing is really solid right now. So only time will tell what's really going to be happening. But in terms of the euro, uh, this is a map showing moisture of these different colors. The brown indicates drier conditions. Meanwhile, the teals indicate moisture. And so here we have euro showing that area of some moisture making its way past Jamaica headed to Central America. So euro barely shows any development. Maybe this will fail to develop into a tropical cyclone. And then as for the icon model, icon is showing that area, that low pressure area developing and uh, making its way towards the west and uh we're not seeing anything major with this in terms of development. So all these models were expecting that we would be seeing more development in earlier runs. But as of the latest runs, we're not really seeing that. And a huge contributor to any tropical cyclones development, well, the contributors, is the favorability of conditions in terms of the wind shear, sea surface temperatures, and moisture. So there's quite a bit of dry, uh, dry stable conditions across sections of the Caribbean right now. And so... Uh, that could pose a problem because when we have a more moist environment that is when things get more favorable for us to see further development or intensification but once we have dry stable conditions we won't uh, we won't really see much of that happening and it will really be the opposite and that's coupled with unfavorable upper level winds so as a matter of fact looking at the current wind shear right now we have the red that means unfavorable the yellow that means neutral and the green that means favorable and so uh, favorable conditions are starting to set in for the Caribbean and that is what the disturbance is going to love that is what's going to be helping it to thrive because those upper level winds won't be interfering much with the system so let's see what's going to be happening with this guys but as I said uh, things can change and now we're seeing our models are not showing much development of this but it doesn't really take a strong system for us to see some significant impacts guys so for the long term central america possibly jamaica need to keep their eyes out there and so guys as for that disturbance if we do have development of it the next name to be used for this hurricane season is lisa and after lisa is martin and so let's see if the system is going to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone and reach the threshold of a tropical storm and acquire the name lisa but of course regardless of the name it is likely to bring some impacts to the various sections of the caribbean so please take all the necessary precautions and and stay safe and so guys of course as i said i'm going to be keeping you updated on all that is happening across the tropics and that is really it for this update video so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise.